Here's that audio vox FM stereo radio for car that I picked up from a TV repair shop that was closing down. And I got it hooked up here with a little antenna wire speaker and a battery for power. And it basically uh, works, but it's a problem with the volume. So I've got some uh, deoxid here. I'm going to open it up and see if we can clean the volume control. It's pretty scratchy, probably because it's sat around uh, for a long time with no one using it. All right, here's what it looks like inside. Um, inside the cover, and obviously, it, I almost would think it's a high hour radio. This is like burn marks. I don't know what they're from. Uh, that would be over it at this end. But I, I don't know if the dial light is there or what. But uh, there's the volume control, and I think I can get. A uh, drop or two of this uh, deoxid in here. I'll try it and see how that affects it. All right, so I got a couple of drops of deoxid in there and it's taking care of most of the crackle. As you'd expect, there was a little. There's a little hole in the top there where the leads go in, and um, yeah, it's interesting looking at this thing. You know, way back when, there's a lot of. Electrolytic capacitors in it. There's a uh, 10.7 megahertz uh, IF filter there. Murata ceramic filter. Seems to work pretty good. I, I don't have a pair of speakers hooked up right now. I just have one. But it uh, seems to be pretty sensitive. Mechanical drive to the tuner. Let's do a sweep of the band here. The connections are a little bit flaky. Hold on a second. So there we go. About 93.1. again. That's pretty good. That's that's a good 80 miles away from here to get that on a three foot test clip lead at sea level is pretty good. And that's the end of the band of the FM 108. This uh, actually has a pretty good little tuner in it. There's also a tone control that is pretty uh, marked. And it's 
and it's uh last week of january 2018 how are those effect. resolutions doing no don't give up get back in the gym stop doing that bad habit thing and don't give up on the dream for a new car i'm cat corbett and i recommend Walmart. really kind of cuts the highs as you slide it to the right the mono stereo switch i know the car part sounds a bit more complicated and balance there are 22 mercedes-benz dealerships in southern california this was, uh, yeah, it would have been uh, probably intended for a car that only had an AM radio and it has its own amp. And, and you could add, you know, two speakers to your car and install this under the dash. And uh, there's still a time like back in the 70s cars and earlier where AM radio was standard equipment and they didn't always put in an FM. <clears throat> so this would have been a nice upgrade at the time. Let's look over the circuit, do a little more circuit analysis here. There's the power and speaker connections jack. Um, hmm, I don't know what these things are that say 38K. Can't quite read it. Sumida Electric, Japan. I wonder if there's two of them, if they're related to the huh, to the audio or what. No, I think audio output is over here. This little strip of metal. Yeah, it's got some feed-through capacitors on it. Huh, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like there's a transistor down under all of that. If I can get it in focus. Could be an audio amp, I see. So anyway, that was a look at this. Uh, it's an FMX20, AudioVox FMX20 car radio. Ah, there's a uh, Toshiba integrated circuit, TA7054. I'll have to find out what that does. I don't know. I'd have to look it up. But uh, that's this little tuner, and that pretty much completes this video. Thanks for watching.